Hey guys, are you here? Today I'm going to take you through a game of threes and then a game of a, a, a 1v2 game. So here we're fighting Windwalker DK, we get a Paralyze onto the Mistweaver, a Sheep onto the DK, and a Fear onto the Windwalker Monk. So we had that triple CC and we opened up onto the Mistweaver um, with... Uh, a we got quite a bit of cooldowns. We got Windwalker Trinket, Mistweaver Trinket, we got Cocoon, a really good opener. So our, our goal in this game is to kind of just reset and do it again. Our Priest is mind controlling um, both the DK and then the Windwalker back and forth. Um, I'm sheeping the Windwalker and the DK back and forth. We're literally just not taking damage, just trying to turtle again until our Windwalker has his stuns back up so we can do that same type of burst combo onto the Mistweaver. So the setup as Windwalker Mage kind of looks like you para the guy that you want to go on, in this case the Mistweaver, so he can't move. You para him just to kind of stun him in place. That was a really nice life grip right there by Gex. Um, you stun the guy in place with the Paralyze, or not stun, but you know, in-cap him in place with the Paralyze. You run to him to actually set up, and then you um, your, your monk does his stun combos with Fist of Fury and Leg Sweep, and you do your Ice Form Shatter combos, and that's kind of how you do your one-shot. The monk cooldowns, touch of death, and serenity obviously help as well. So here is like the paralyzed setup. I double blink, I frostbolt, get a ton of damage off. The DK actually comes to stop us, um, but my monk gets pretty much enough damage off that I can finish him off there with a frostbolt and ice nova, and boom, finish the game off. So that's kind of how it looks. You set up with that para, you run in, CC the other two, get a lot of cooldowns, turtle, reset, mind control, fear, sheep, kind of keep waiting. Uh, you have your sons back up, boom, you get back on them. That's just a classic, classic game of Windwalker Mage right there. So this is a 1v2 of a Rhett and a DK, or not a DK, a Rhett and a Rogue. Uh, I'm doing a 1v2 here on my alt mage, and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to kill. So sometimes you don't really get to choose. The Rogue's behind the pillar, right? So I'm just opening here on the Paladin, seeing kind of how this game plays out. Paladin has a shield, I steal it, very nice to steal that. I get a nice orb that actually hits the rogue out of stealth there. The rogue does an early cloak of shadows, which isn't too good. So now I'm like, okay, the, the pally used is not as bubble, but you know, the, the, the thing that I stole, the, the bubble shield. Um, pally used that, and the rogue uses cloak, so they're both pretty good kill targets. I use temp shield right here, so I get really low HP, but I get almost back to full. Um, I glacial spike this rogue for a lot of his health, just turreting frostbolts into him, steal the freedom from the pally, nova the pally. Pally now bubbles, so now... We have Bubble from the Pally, so when we do want to kill him, he's going to die pretty easily. But look at my HP, it's going down so fast. I'm at 20, 29%, I go into the Ice Block, and I still need to kill the Rogue, and then somehow 1v on the Pally. So I blink, Ice Nova, Ice Lance Throw, and he does have that Cheat Death. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I lost this one, it's over. But I have the Ice Barrier, and eventually my pet just kills um, the Rogue. So I have a bunch of Bleeds right now. The, the Red's in his Sheep, I have a bunch of Bleeds. He does use that late Trinket, I re-Sheep his Trinket. And every time I move, that Creeping Venom on me, that Creeping Venom debuff resets. But I can't not move or else the rat's going to kill me. So I have to keep resetting this poison, steal the freedom, um, running around the pillar. Uh, about 10%, now 12% life. Just trying to live with my Novas and my Sheeps. Under 10% was at 4% life, 5% life. Trying to get any type of eating or any type of food. I still have that Creeping Venom on me, which is slowly taking me out. So low HP right now, barely, barely, barely hanging on. I think at one point I actually get to 1%, 1% right there. And I start eating, um, eating back up. And I'm like, okay, as long as I can reset against this guy, I know I can take him. I know he has, doesn't have a bubble for a little bit either. So I go ahead and Ice Flow, Shimmer, Blink, Polly. And there it is, there's the reset, I'm back to full HP, this Rhett knows what's up, and he actually leaves the game. So there's a cool 1v2, there was a cool uh, game of threes with a nice setup, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't, and uh, let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. See you guys next time, peace!